I've been waiting for Racer Star to put out something that's 6S compatible. I mean, you could run some of the other motors at 6S, but none of them have a low enough KV that it would really be worth trying it. Well, here recently they just released these BR2507S motors, and these are rated from 3 cell up to 6 cell. And uh, like I said, they're 1800 motors, so they're going to be equivalent to about a 26, 2700 kV motor on 4 cell. Now, the nice thing about a uh, bigger or a higher voltage is you're going to have a lot more low and torque than you would if you were using something like a 4S, just because the extra volts give a lot more torque. <laughs> So I'm going to put these on the quad and I got some new green props that I'm going to use with it and we'll do a little test flying on 6S. Now the big, the nice thing about this frame is that I used an Eosheen stack inside here. The Eosheen stack has a, I think I believe it's a 35 amp ESC and a flight board with the VTX built in and it supports up to 6S. So I should be able to just pull the motors off, put the new motor on. Uh, the new motor's on, and then hopefully just power it with the 6S. I do need to check the run cam and make sure it's 6S compatible, but I think it should be. Got the motors on and the new props on, ready to do some 6S testing. For today's test, I'm gonna be using these uh, Pyrodrone 1250 6S batteries. They are huge compared to the other batteries I've been using. Spin up okay? Oh yeah! We're in the air with 6S batteries. Holy moly. And these are 1800 kV motors. <laughs> well, it apparently needs a little tuning, or I need to not hit the trees, one of the two. This is the first FPV test with the Boss Medium Frame with the 6S battery and the 2507 Racer Stars. Hopefully it goes well. So the 6S flying is legit. I mean, this thing, it, I wasn't flying it a lot faster than I usually do on my 4S, but I could tell going around the corners, it had a lot more low and torque. And it was able to, to compensate for my lack of good lines going around the corners. It would go around and it would just keep pulling. Whereas my 4S kind of spins a little bit more and it kind of has this point where it kind of stops and then it starts to go again. This thing was able to just to compensate for my bad piloting skills and pull me around corners a lot smoother then I've been able to fly. The battery's a little warm. I did push it a little bit. I got it down 20, I guess. It should be, 20 should be fine. So, you know, six times three is 18. So yeah, 20 volts should be more than fine. So I'm anxious to see to uh, see how it flies on the second one. There were a couple of times where it just probably needs some tuning where it kind of goes into like a little uh, spin or kind of a, like a dip where it kind of it doesn't, it's not quite tuned exactly right. But it, I didn't change anything coming off the beta flight defaults. I just pulled the old motors off, put the new motors on, and put a 6S battery in it. I don't know. Pretty good for me. Let's try the next battery. We'll see how it goes. Nothing's gonna stop us now, cause this is our day. flying awesome on the second round until I hit a tree and uh, bent the prop pretty good. Although I don't think there's any damage other than the prop, which is nice, but it's bent beyond fixing, so...
The batteries held up okay. They're a little warm, which I was kind of surprised by, but then again, I was pushing it kind of hard. Yeah, they're a little bit warm. They're not hot much, but they're a little bit warm. Anyway, good enough for today. This is the uh, Boss Medium Frame with the 2507S motors on it, and they're the Racer Star Edition, and they are not even, they're not hot at all. I was kind of pushing a little bit harder on that second time just so I could get the battery to exercise a little bit and hopefully push it a little bit, but the battery did okay. Like I said, it's a little bit warm, but the motors, it didn't care. It does have a lot of tuning that needs to be done because it kind of gets those jitters where it just flies and then it's out of control. So, anyway, got some of that to do. Anyway, Racer Star 2507 Motors, you have any questions about these, you can leave them in the comments. I'll try to help you out. We'll talk about the 6S versus 4S if you want to. Uh, if any comments, leave them down in the comments. Questions, leave them down there too. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching. Plugging in. 6S, this is the Eosheen Stack X. There it is. Sawtown.